What's up? Welcome back to creating a 5M framework. Uh, this time, uh, it's just an update video. Um, basically on the base, we have changed a few things on the base. I'm in the wrong one. Open up this dev repository real quick. And I'll show you guys the changes that are going to get pushed um, probably by the time this video comes out or they're already out. So <clears throat> uh, this is specifically on the base, so I'm just not going to save any of this. And we'll only look at the base here. Um, let me just double check a few things. Uh, mainly what changes in here <clears throat> is our player file. Um, there are some changes to the SQL, so I'll get the SQL updated as well. Um, right now we have a few other things um, such as our job grade. So we're gonna have a job grade in here and then as well as banking ID that is not uh, currently in here, but I think it's in the overall overall one for uh, banking ID at least. Um, let me just double check. No, it's not. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get this all updated as well in here. Um, but to run you guys through a little bit from what has happened, um, not too much has changed in here. We did add a few things such as uh, our job grade and then our banking ID. And uh, what this basically does <clears throat> is we're just setting our data. So we're just making the player have a job grade, uh, which right now is based off numbers. So zero through whatever you guys uh, create with the new uh, job creator script that uh, is currently a work in progress. Thanks to Jax. Um, as soon as that video comes out, put it in the description, do all that fun stuff. But <clears throat> Couple things, couple functions have changed. Um, basically, we have a switch wait, blah, 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 switch job functions. Um, so how this works is actually when you call a, a player function. So these are considered player functions, right? So basically, you get player. Uh, so you do local player or const player equals get player uh, mp dot get player and then source, and then you can do player dot functions, which are these functions right here. Um, and this is how we're basically setting our job here. Um, yeah, so we are setting our job. We're going to move that. I forgot to comment that out. So basically we call this function and then it switches the job. Um, and we grab new job and grade. So it will grab your old job just like this. So it grabs this old data from yourself and then it will set it to, uh, the new job and new grade just like that. And then we'll send it to a save. Um, not too much has changed in here besides this. Uh, our swap money functions all work the same and update money works the same as well. Uh, our save function has changed slightly. Um, basically, I believe I, did I do this right? Uh, I gotta move this cell function, that's what it is. Um, but we gotta change the cell function. But basically it goes into the save, uh, and then we're actually going to take out the cell function uh, because there's no need for it. So <clears throat> it goes into our save. So it calls save and we go down to our save. And what it does is it grabs all this data here and then it will end up uh, updating everything into the SQL and saving it. And then in here. So after the query, we are going to add our player function, so our function right here. So it's not gonna be a self function because we're outside of the scope. So what we're actually gonna have to do is do local player equals mp dot get player player and we'll call source here. And then we can call our player function basically just like this. And this is how you call it. So uh, how this works is when we update our player data, we're basically uh, setting our character data and we send all the data from here. So basically what happens is after it saves, it's gonna resend all this data to the client side so it updates on the client as well. Uh, and that's basically, basically it. Um, is there anything else that we've changed? Let me check the GitHub real quick. I don't believe there, don't believe there is though. Uh, so I'll get that SQL updated, obviously. Um, and let me just double check. 
empty base, fix for errors. Okay, yeah, we fixed that error. That's good. All right, yeah, and that was that was it. That was it. Um, once again, if you guys have any questions, feel free to um, hop in the Discord here, and you can type in support for any questions like that. If it's MP related, so hear me out. This is a bigger update. If it's MP related, hop in the main power discord and you guys could see some stuff in here. Uh, you guys could always post your suggestions and this could be uh, basically done in game. Stuff you want to see in the MP framework, feel free to just load this up with stuff and chances are we'll make it happen. But uh, this is for main power support. Uh, basically, if you have changed these tags and want to get support, uh, in the MP discord, it, it won't happen. Uh, just not how it just, we're there for main power. If you change it, it's not really main power. You know what I mean? Uh, but my other discord will help for that. And that is about it. Another short video. Um, more videos are going to be coming. Uh, the base is going to get reworked, but that's at a later date. We're going to talk about that. Uh, we are going to talk about right now, though, our spawn selector. So our spawn selector is actually going to get completely redone in uh, TypeScript and React. Uh, so brand new menu. It's going to work with everything and to get all your houses uh, um, as well. So when players buy their houses, that's going to be in the menu as well. And there will be spawns for certain jobs as well, just to make things go by a little quicker, as well as your last uh, location. So that is the update of the day. Anything else, feel free to come into the Discord and chat with us. I will show you guys the main power website for the last thing, as this has been updated, and you guys don't think I've seen any changes on this. Uh, basically, the it looks different. We have the join Discord right here, a lot simpler for you guys. Um, we have our team, so Jax obviously has been with me for a long time now. Um, and I mean, Jax is great. Jax is great. Uh, really only good things to say about Jax. He puts in a lot of work. Uh, make sure you guys go check out all of his links, which are right here as well. Um, our contact page, feel free to come in here, put in careers, partnerships, buy uh, custom scripts, um, which we will do uh, as main power. And other, just if you want to type something, type it in your Discord and make sure you guys are in the main power Discord as a channel. We'll get will 95% of the time get generated unless we feel like it's not worth. Um, updates, updates have been in here recently. So another update's gonna come in here and you guys could see when these have been uh, posted as well. So it's been a while, <laughs> been a while since uh, anything's really been updated. Uh, and that's just cause our focus is uh, definitely farther along. We have a lot of, we have a lot of things we've been working on. Um, and then our documentation page, uh, powered by Gitbook. So it's just basically a Gitbook site. And, but you guys can get every single little bit of our exports on client side. And it tells you what they do exactly. So this is going to get updated with that new change as well. Same with commands. It tells you how to work it and format it. Uh, banking works the same way. Server side, everything like that. But that is it. Hope you guys have a great day.